Uh, welcome everyone, good morning. My name is Nick Zitzman and I am a mobile developer at Fulfram Research and I am joined here with my colleague Aditya and today we will be telling you about what's new in Wolfram Alpha for mobile. So it's changed a lot in the last year and today we will be talking about everything that is new with the Wolfram Alpha for iOS and everything that is to come soon in Wolfram Alpha for Android. We'll be going over some of the new look, the new features, including uh, the new Math OCR feature, which Stephen showed off during the keynote last Tuesday. And also we'll be looking at the new personal and professional assistants. Wolfram Alpha for iOS came out around 2010, shortly after the platform launched on the web and since then it has been ranked as one of the top reference apps for ios pretty consistently ever since it came out all those years ago and um, some of its existing features is it supports location specific uh, information for example if you query for the flights overhead then it will show you all the flights overhead if you query for the weather, then it will show you your current weather. It will track all the queries that you've made in the past, as well as um, any favorite queries that you'd like to run again. It integrates with Siri. For example, if you ask Siri, what is the capital of Thailand, then it will show you the capital of Thailand and it'll probably go to Wolfram Alpha for that. And if you want to go anywhere beyond that query given what you've uh, put in, then it will um, allow you to open up the app and go beyond. Um, it also supports image as input, which allows you to take a picture using your device or using an existing picture and run it through one of Wolfram Alpha's filters. For example, you can make it look like an art painting or, I mean, a oil painting or, a make it monochrome and you can also get interesting facts about the painting or picture such as its most dominant color and it also has enhanced step-by-step -step solutions for math problems well we released a big new release recently version 2.1 and the big new thing about it is it is now free to download Previously, the app cost $3, and those of you who have been around for a while might remember when it was uh, much more expensive than $3. Um, I wasn't around back then, but I heard it was a lot more. Um, it's got an all new colorful redesign, and I'll show it to you in a moment here. It's got the single most requested feature that we've received, which is Math OCR, and Steven, this is the feature Stephen showed on Tuesday where you can take a picture and it will allow you to uh, run um, that uh, equation that you captured as a query. And also we've added some the assistant forms. We previously had a bunch of assistant applications that were like mini Wolfram Alpha apps that we put in the app store, such as algebra and calculus and retirement planning and we have uh, long discontinued work on those applications and have decided to bring them all back into the Wolfram Alpha app. The original app is still around. We're calling it Wolfram Alpha Classic. However, it is in maintenance mode. No new features are being planned for it. And right now it's just being kept alive for bug fixes, et cetera. Um, if you previously bought a pro subscription inside the app, then you can uh, launch the new app and your pro subscription will be honored. Um, if you have a subscription through um, the web or otherwise tied to your Wolfram ID, then you'll ha just have to sign back in again and you'll get all the same pro features that you had in the past. Now the app will run on any iPhone or iPad or iPod touch running iOS 14 or later. That's Hopefully all of you in here, um, iOS 13 is quite old by now, so I hope none of you are still running it. Um, if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, you can run Wolfram Alpha on your Apple Silicon Mac. 
And, um, the only thing is that Math OCR will not work on the Apple Silicon Mac. We know about this. It is actually Apple's bug to fix. So I'm hoping they will at some point. All right, now let's take a look at the app in action. Here it is running on an iPad. And as you can see here on the left side of your screen, this is our new home view, which gives you quick access to um, ordinary features that you would use inside the application. Um, if I tap here, then it's gonna take me to the examples. This is how the examples look now. They're a bit different from how they were in the previous app. And, um, not only are they much more colorful, not only do we have way more top level categories, but they're also organized the same way as they are on the web. So all the categories you can, example categories you see on the website are all here. And if I tap show random examples down here, then it will do random examples just like so. All right, now let's take a look at the math OCR feature. So I'm going to tap the camera icon here in the top right corner. And as you can see here, we've got a tab at the top here for photo input and image analysis. Photo input is going to be for the math OCR feature, whereas image analysis goes to image as input, which is a feature we had in the existing application. And you can tap down here to turn on the flashlight or turn it off. I'm going to take a photo here of our book here. This is um, the book about Wolfram Alpha Notebook Edition. So I'm going to get a good view here and then I'm gonna snap a picture. Okay, so we've got some equations on there we can use. Now I can either use my finger to trace around it or um, we don't document this anywhere, but you can also use an Apple Pencil to circle around it. So I'm gonna circle around this equation. Okay, as you can see it capture, I did a pretty good job of capturing most of it, but I want to change this around so that I get exactly the equation and cut out all the riffraff, so to speak. So I'm going to drag the corner here to um, resize this a bit and then, okay, I think that'll work. And then I'm going to tap analyze down here in the corner. And there we go. And um, one thing I can do down here is if I really need to, it looks like I actually will, um, let's see, power. oh yes, I will need to change this. I'm not sure what happened here, but I can uh, go in and change this so that this and here should be cube and square respectively. And then we compute. Oh. Oh yeah, there there were some other things there that went wrong, but in the for the purpose of time, I'm going to continue here. Um, yeah, and so um, one other thing that we can uh, do here is we can um, also run any images that you have previously taken here. So I'm going to tap last photo taken here and it's going to get me a photo of a uh, L'Hopital limit here. So I'm going to circle that. And then size it down a bit. This one should work a bit better. Okay, that looks correct. And there we go. And then we can also tap down here to get the step-by-step -step solution if we would like to, and we can tap next step or show all steps, et cetera. It works just like it did in the previous application. Um, let me show you the assistance feature now. Assistance is a simplified way to do common queries in Wolfram Alpha. You can use it to do algebra and it will show you a simplified form for doing um, algebra such as that. Um, you can al also allow you to do some things that you didn't know Wolfram Alpha could do. For example, if we come down here to sun exposure, time to sunburn, we can uh, show like what the 
sun exposure is going to be like for the day and if you should wear sunscreen or not. But then you can also use it to do one of my favorite things, which is look at cute cats and get fun cat facts. Oh, bless. But also you can see here that, did you know that uh, Bombay cats are um, affectionate and gentle? Something you now know that you might have not known before. Okay, so those are some of the things that you can do with the new Wolfram Alpha app. And um, from here, I'm going to turn it over to Aditya who will now show you uh, Wolfram Alpha for Android. Okay, thank you, Nick, for talking about the iOS app. Uh, let's talk about the uh, app for Android. Uh, Wolfram Alpha for Android has been ranking in the top five books and reference category since its launch. And it has been the go-to place for querying Wolfram Alpha for Android. What are the device requirements for running the app? The minimum OS version is Android 5.0 Lollipop. The app will run on other large form factors such as tablets, Chromebooks, and foldables, but it is not optimized for them. Uh, our apps strictly uh, adhere to the Google Play policies that include providing information for the data safety section, which you can fly find for our apps on the Play Store. Let us talk about the release of the new Wolfram Alpha app. As Nick pointed out, this will be a free app and it will have all the features of the previously paired app. It will not have the basic step-by-step -step solutions, but it will have extended step-by-step -step solutions along with other features uh, as a part of the active Wolfram Alpha Pro subscription. This will be called Wolfram Alpha and will be released in the coming ones for Android. This app will receive all future updates. And as Nick pointed out, uh, with iOS app, the Android app will also honor the Wolfram, uh, the Wolfram Alpha Pro subscription uh, purchased on the website, and it can also be purchased in the app using the Play Store. So let's talk about the features that are part of the Wolfram Alpha Pro subscription. Uh, the number one requested feature for iOS, the Math OCR, is also coming to Android, which I'll demo it in a bit. And then the extended step-by-step -step solution. This has been part of the iOS app since quite some time, and it's also coming to Android, uh, which also demo. And then the image analysis, which Nick pointed as image as input, which where you can run uh, computations and filters on images. And uh, the assistant apps. Uh, so right now under the Wolfram group on the Play Store, you'll find different assistant apps like Algebra, Calculus, et cetera. Um, all of them will be bundled into this free app as a part of the Wolfram Alpha Pro subscription. Uh, and you can access all of them from one place. These won't be uh, in the initial release, the assistant apps, uh, they'll, they'll be in release following up the initial release sometime later next year. Let us talk about the, the future of the existing Wolfram Alpha apps for iOS and Android. They'll continue to keep their existing features. And as Nick pointed out, uh, they'll be called as Wolfram Alpha Classic. They will not receive any new features, but will receive critical updates and bug fixes. We encourage you all to migrate to the Wolfram Alpha iOS free app. It's already on the App Store and the Wolfram Alpha Android free app whenever it's released in the coming months. Let's see the app in action. I'm opening up the app for the first time and you'll see a onboarding screen, login screen that uh, uh, allows you to log in and you can let's skip it for now. And uh, in here, uh, let us perform a sample query. So on this one, and here is the new design for the Wolfram Alpha. And do you see a step-by-step -step solution button in here? You can, uh, I'll show that feature in a bit. Uh, to access the Math OCR feature, let us tap on the, the camera button on the top right of the status bar. And here are the initial onboarding screens that explain you how the feature works. You can, you can pull this up in the, by using the feature as well, which I'll show you. And let's get started. Just provide the necessary permissions for accessing the camera. And uh, there you go. And uh, similar to the iOS app, you'll see two tabs on the top, the photo input tab and the image analysis tab. Uh, the image analysis tab is for images input and the photo input tab is for math OCR. On the, top, on the top right, you see this help icon, the question mark, circle question mark icon. Tapping on that will take you back to the onboarding screens and uh, 
you can access them whenever you want. Let us skip them for now. And on the bottom, we'll see the three three buttons. Uh, the the left one is for leftmost one is for basically inputting the uh, images from the gallery, and then they take a picture, and then they toggle uh, flashlight button, similar to the iOS app. So let us take a picture. So I'm using this book, The Beginner's Guide to Mathematica version four, and let us take a picture of a page with the equations which you want to analyze. And in here, let us uh, mark the equation you want to analyze. There you go. And you can change the selection. You can move the selection around. And uh, you can reset the selection if you want to. Let me reset that. And then let me do the marking again. Let us click on analyze. And uh, Similar to the ISA, we'll see a math preview on the top, and then uh, the editable will from alpha input at the bottom. You can edit it here. And so let's compute. And you'll be taken to the, the result screen with the results. So let's see the step-by-step -step solution uh, in action. So let me click that. So this wasn't the ISA, it's coming new to Android. So let's click on next step. And you'll see a, you'll be shown a tooltip explaining uh, that there are intermediate steps in this in this the second step. So let us access uh, those steps. So you'll see a brief blue indicator on the top, and here are the intermediate steps. Uh, you can close them, yeah. And then next step. So let us click on show all steps. So you'll be so there are twenty one steps, pretty long, uh, uh, working out. So you can start over, and that's how it works. And uh, I'll show you another flow. So by clicking on this icon to the left for add a photo, uh, provide the permissions to access the device gallery. And you'll be shown a dialog with the top item being gallery and the, the bottom three items being the last three pictures from your gallery. And you'll be shown the date and time there. So let us pick a picture, the third one, and let us do the login. So this market and click on analyze so if the operation did not go through uh, there will be a corresponding dialogue and you can follow the steps from there and let's compute yep so multiple step-by-step -step solutions and we can access those steps and uh, there are other drop downs here as well uh, and you can hide hints if you wanted to yeah so uh, those were the two features which i wanted to demo for the um, alpha app and uh, we love developing the app and its features and I thank Nick and my team for helping me put the presentation together and the app together. Thank you all for your time. Okay, we can take questions. The OCR is I mean, it's a part of the free app, but you have to get the full form of pro subscription to use the picture.